That's literally garbage that you're now charging people for. Yeah. We just acapella the intro. Cause you can't afford it. <laughs> Hello, Imperium. Deep in the undisclosed bastion, somewhere on Holy Terra, it's Tabletop Talkers, where we talk about modeling, gaming, movies, pop culture, and what gamers actually talk about. I'm Commissar Wood, and this is. Josiah the Heavy Flame of Frya, half man, half amazing, D and D dominating Darian. How are you guys doing this week? Not bad. It's been a good week because General's Handbook is out. Oh my goodness! Oh the good, sweet, mm, goodness! Ah, we love it so much, man. This thing is changing the game. It really is. With the new ally points, where you get that 400 uh, at 2,000, I think it's 600 at. Um, at 2,500 okay. of allied points, and you get to keep your allegiance abilities and still be able to play these cool allies. Man, I'm, re I'm really digging it, man. Uh, just got 2,000 points of Slovenith, so now I need to start thinking about my 400 points of allies. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Um, what, another cool thing about this that I really loved was seeing how many things got drops in prices if you take them at full strength. I thought that was really cool. Like my dryads, they're uh, 80, 80 um, points a piece. Uh, but if I take them at uh, three, then I only pay, I think, like 60 points per squad. So I'm getting like a, a 60 point, you know, downgrade for, for taking three. Okay. So it's super cool, man. Um, a lot of units got that. Unfortunately, Caradron didn't. They're still new. They don't have much in their range yet. They, they, they will. They'll they have more. They don't have a unit that would fit it properly. Yeah, even Arconauts, uh, they 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 do too much to give them like yeah. a horde fucking thing. Uh, larger you know? than ten man squads are inefficient because of the boats, and and I think all you really got was just up uh, up prices on your uh, War Scroll battalions. It's pretty much yeah. What, and the yeah. Aether Chemist, uh, the Aether Chemist would got uh, uh, I believe an increase in about four, 30 points mm. uh, because he would, he's overused character because he can grant people additional attacks and in a range yeah, of action. Yeah, I remember everybody was spamming nice. him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they also redid all the War Skull almost entirely for the um, Grunstock, Grunstock Thunder. Thunders. Yes, thank you. Uh, they made a really neat combo with uh, an order of operations kind of style of thing with uh, you shoot the uh, unit with this gun and they shoot that same unit with this gun yeah. and they shoot the same unit with the other gun and they all have bonuses because you shot them in that order of operations. Yeah, it's it's really cool. neat. Yeah, and they took away the long range, which I'm kind of oh, sad yeah. about. They cut um, that gun's range in half. It went from 36 to 18. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah that's a big hit. Yeah, they... Because everybody was just... And they also made it so that you can't yeah, you, take one weapon, like multiples of one weapon, because yeah, people you, were just like... All of my specialist... People were making all of their specialist weapons into, like, mortars and just uh, yeah. shooting across the board. Yeah, exactly. You got this 36-inch range mm -hmm. mortar team. You know? uh, I'm really surprised yeah. no one did a whole unit of fumigators and just deployed right in someone's oh. face and oh. fumigated. Oh, you're going to charge my boat? Fumigation. Yeah. You know? Uh. Yeah, the only problem I see is, that I guess, because... It, random attacks, you don't benefit as much from the uh, Aether Chemist bonus on that one. Yeah. But, regardless. I, I like to see that the, um, we're going to do a Path to Glory campaign soon. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, before we even start anything else, Throg brought us a gift, and we now have a 360 camera that records in 2K. We are now going to be doing our battle reports for Age of Sigmar uh, in full 3D when we do them. Um, we're going to try to get other games in. We're going to try and do Infinity, maybe do um, Warhammer 40K when the edition gets a little better, when they've FAQ'd it about eight more times. Um, then uh, maybe even some of the board games that are going to be coming out. Necromunda's coming out soon. Necromunda um, is going to be great because it's essentially, love. for the same reasons, Infinity is going to be good. Yeah. Uh, we haven't done a one for Infinity yet, but that's the one I'm really looking for. Yeah, that'd be so. really cool, man. And um, so... Be, be aware of that. Look for Age of Sigmar 360 is what we call it. 
Um, we're going to be trying to do as many battle reports as possible. I got one with uh, Slovenith versus uh, Stormcast at 2,000 points uh, that we're going to post here soon. So keep a lookout for that. Yeah. All right. So first up on the list of the game stuff, we have the game Photosynthesis. This is a game that, that made its rounds at Gen Con. <laughs> All right. It's a game where it's kind of like Risk with trees. All right? It, it, you, you, you each have a certain kind of carnifer, and then you, <laughs> you know, try it. to dominate a forest. I love it. Yeah. Um, can you manage your trees? Can you get your saplings to grow up into big, oh. big trees? It looks pretty interesting. It, look, it looks like a fun game, like a beer and pretzels kind of game. You know, you're just with your friends making this ridiculous forest. And I got to love it because... Slovenith and wood. Yeah. I gotta love it. So. The things you can do with a Catan map. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Forest Satan. Oh, man. All right, so this is a new box set that's coming out for uh, Age of Sigmar uh, to mark, you know, the new General's Handbook and stuff. It's called Blight War, and it's the Stormcast versus the Nurgle's Rop Ringers. There's a new cool special character we've got here. This dude on the snail looks really cool. He's like, um, he's a guy who protects the harvest for Nurgle, right? So he's like a, a horticulturist for plague. Right? All right. And uh, and it's well, a really we know decent where the, set. We know where this spiral snail shell in the Ruger engine comes from. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I yeah. like the little feed me see more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sapling there it's really cool this set is actually really nice man comes with another female storm cast it's an alternative it's a, a special female character. storm cast hero yes a, 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 a troop choice yeah and it, i believe it's the same pose as the other one just he has axes now and with a helmet off um For cool yeah she's got those um lightning axes i forget what they're called um that's what they're called lightning axes yes yeah okay <laughs> uh, you've got some Judicators here, the ones with the bird companions. Uh, you have the Chocobo Riders, which is super cool. Uh, I believe you've got the long range Judicators and the short range guys with like the Bolt Storm uh, pistols. pistols. Um, really cool set, man. And it comes with this, this new Allegiance ability that Nurgle has, where it's a dial, and each turn you turn the dial to see how far Nurgle's rot has progressed during the match. So it's a really cool, like, allegiance ability for them, and I'm really excited about it. Also, the subtle people will note troll face on the little nurgling fish thing that is bait for the snail to move. Oh, it yeah. is a very just obvious troll face when you can see it properly. You use a troll head? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a great deal. I, we don't know the price of it yet, but I can already tell you, I, you know, I'd want to split one if I was going to Oh, yeah. One. Not wrong. All right, come on. Thing. Here we go. All right. Uh, there's a new season of war coming up. Now, um, I believe a year and a half ago, they had a season of war where people that played Age of Sigmar got to fight for the free cities that have been found in uh, in the new in the realms. I think um, there was one in the realm of life, one in the realm of fire, one in the realm of death, and one in the um, realm of beasts, I think. Uh, and you got to fight to see... If this thing actually got taken over by uh, chaos again or something, you know, okay. um, and ended up that, of course, order one Sigmar yeah. f freed them all. Some of them in very clever <clears throat> fashions. I love the yes. little fluffy explanations for them. And now there's going to be a new season of war, and there's going to be four more cities, and these are all going to be in the realm of fire. Ooh. And uh, we're going to be fighting for control of these cities, and we we'll see who you know. Is it death that's going to control one of these cities? Is it life? It, you know, is it? Um, is it the forces of destruction? We won't know. And it's a cool map-based campaign. I'm really excited about this because evidently our progress through this campaign is going to affect the storyline moving forward in Age of Sigmar. So fluff will be changed if we can do enough good or enough evil for our uh, respective factions. All right. So I'm really excited about that. I think it's going to be super cool. And to inaugurate this thing, they're coming out with these new Free Cities boxes. These are uh, the warriors of the great cities. These, this is one for Anvil Guard here. Um, this is, I believe, this is Dark Elf. Uh, that is the uh, corsairs. It's yeah. a bunch of corsairs. I believe you the, got the big dragon guy. 
Yeah. Uh, that's a... Uh, it's a Hydra? It's the same kit as the Hydra, but it builds into that sea monster thing. And you've got oh. these cool judicators with these crazy-ass longbows. Um, I can't really tell. I think that's the special character back there. I believe it's a kind of relictor, I believe. Um, but uh, these are all basically like an army that has been uh, mustered from these free cities. And they have one for um, each of the four cities. This is Hammer Hall. Now we've got uh, free peoples here. Uh, we got a unit of uh, Demogriff Knights and such. It's really awesome. Uh, the old Empire General box, which comes with a guy on foot and a guy on, on a steed. We got the... I want to hail the hero of Hammer Hall. Yeah, the guy with the... Um, this is the one of the main characters, one of the uh, heroes from the Hammer Hall uh, game. Comes with his uh, cool little uh, Griffhound. Uh, Celestial Hurricaneum, a unit of what looks like Halberdiers. Uh, and a unit of what looks like Crossbowmen up top. Uh, you think these are Liberators here? Yes, those are Liberators. Is that a Griff Knight? Demi Griff Knights? Yes, those are Demi Griff Knights. It's a nice box set. I'm curious to see how much it is. Yeah, I really am too. This and, is the oh, this one's tempting me. Yeah. Uh, I want everything in that box already. <laughs> so. What are these, the Drake? Iron uh, Drakes, uh, and. Uh, I believe uh, Iron Breakers, mm -hmm. though I could be wrong, they could be Hammers. Uh, it's another it's variant same. of that guy from Hammer Hall, like a, a similar type yeah. character. Uh, but this guy's got two units of uh, Liberators? No, uh, Liberators. Prosecutors. Prosecutors, thank yeah. you. There's so many crazy names for, for these yeah. small guys. Uh, and <laughs> the uh, Special Character Warden King fake, though I yes. thought he's still a special character. He's still stone. awesome. Yeah. And a Gyrocopter and a Slash gyro Bomber. Yes. This would be totally cool. You've already got this kind of. You already got a lot of this yeah. stuff. So this is just going to add to everything yeah. you already and have. And because of this, uh, I, when I build, when I get this kit, uh, I will probably build both of those as the Iron Breaker version of them, so I can have like a thirty-man strong unit of them. Hell yeah! Because I get because they're cheaper the more you play them at with the horde points. This is true. These horde points are opening up so many doors. I can't wait to make like gigantic units of dryads going at <laughs> people. All right. <laughs> So, Cthulhu Wars is another board game coming up. It made its rounds around Gen Con as well. Um, um, a closer version of Risk. Yes. But with cults. With cults that try to summon their Elder God. Uh, so you could be summoning yogg Sothoth. Like, we're going to get those, get that just so you can paint those figs. Yeah, this is going to be so awesome. I just want to see some of the, the crazy abominations they come out with. How do you make the endless string of eyes? You just we'll have to see. <laughs> Eyes going into infinity is crazy. Ooh, another board game. Mm -hmm. This one looks kind of cool if it happens. See, the, the figures look super, super sweet. They kind of remind me of like an Imperial Assault type thing. They're already preformed figs. Yeah. Um, kind of that same level of detail as Imperial Assault. What, what gets me about it is that like we see these kinds of 3D sculpts and then when we get the, the actual fig, the proportions are... A little of off, yeah. GW ish. The heads and hands are a little too big, and I get that. But don't advertise such a nice 3D fig if yeah. you're not able to produce. Yeah, such show me nice actual fig. fig. And you can tell this is actually a different image because these aren't floating in the air over top of a, a, yeah. a white, white piece of paper. This is a digital image. Yeah. Um, uh, but like this is the game. Now this makes me intrigued. See, now I see pieces of terrain here. I see, you know, like a, a cool little tile board. Uh, like the, some of the texturing on some of that, like looks like tents and stuff. Yeah, this game looks pretty fun. It looks like they went a step ahead of Infinity as far as their uh, paper terrain is concerned, and had an inter have an interior for it. Yeah, uh, doors. And yeah, such. textures on both sides, which is super cool. Ah. Uh. Um, yeah. See, if if it has this terrain, I am probably gonna buy some. I love I love uh, Firefly. Once every couple of years, I go through the season again, and. I would, I would like to have this just for when I'm feeling nostalgic. Just be like, fuck it, man. Let's, yeah, that'd be let's, cool. go, let's go kill some raiders. Mortarian. The <sighs> next Demon Primarch to come out. We, we've we now got full full pictures of them. We can talk about them a little bit. Man, the way they painted them with these fleshy wings disgusts me, and that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love the little cherubs, the little nurgling cherubs that Attached are that are the chain. Yeah, 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 they're holding sensors. 
It's just so badass, man. The the spinal cord in the in the, the, the scythe. chain scythe. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's just the little touches. This thing is so amazing, man. I really love this this model. Um, what I'm really eager to see is is this going to be a triumphant pack? Is this going to be just he's released on his own? Um, will Will they, because they said this is a, when they did the Triumvirate packs before, they said this is the first trilogy of a, of a trilogy of trilogies. So there's supposed to be six more books that are going to move the story along more. Now, when they started coming out, they just kept coming out. Do you think that's set for the end of this year? That around September we'll get our first one of the trilogy? Or do you think they're not even going to reapproach those three books that they said were on the way with more triumvirates? That might have been just... Smoke up our ass? Smoke up our ass to get us to try and get books when they're coming out. Because okay. cause the like, idea is, oh, there's going to be more, so I want these now. Because if they're making more, they're probably going to stop making these. Well, when, um, when Magnus the Red came out, he was by himself. Yeah. When... Uh, Gilman came out. He was in a triumvirate pack. Yeah. So, um, you know, I don't know, man. And they still haven't said, released a like, date, I don't think, for his release. Um, that also might be like a combination of how much do we think we can get away with? Like, uh, we can't sell these three figs individually, like Call, uh, uh, yeah. Celestine, and Grayfax, unless we put them together with the story so more people know who they are. We know people will probably yeah. buy the Celestine, but we got to put them together in a story so they can play Celestine without the sisters. Because yeah. we can't sell them sisters at the moment for some reason. Um, I believe we got another picture of him. Oh, that's just... I, I think it's probably <laughs> because of the size of the fig and the fact that he's a Primarch. They wouldn't have been able to sell that. It, is, it looks gigantic. How many people that thing looks gigantic. already... All right. Uh, the Terminator. The Grey Knight Terminator that came with the uh, Villain. Yeah, how many how people? How many people have? already had a conversion that was that? Yeah. That was a dude with a Thunder Hammer and the Grey Knight armor with yeah. the same gun on his wrist. We know, I know that they split up lots of those. I don't know anybody that got that character. It's, I don't even think the Grey Knight player our, got that character. There is, he is still in the local shop on the wall. Yeah. Exactly. Next to... All right, last but not least, <laughs> Star Wars Legion. Oh, man. This uh, is the new miniatures game, not Imperial Assault, even though it looks exactly like Imperial Assault. It's not Imperial Assault. This is just a miniatures on the board game, mm -hmm. like Infinity okay. or, or something like that. Um, now, we've got a picture of the figs. This is one picture of them. Zoom in here. Now we've got one of the like Rebel Scout Walkers. Um, we've got speeder bikes over here, and then we've got some stormtroopers and some rebel troopers. Now this is like what they're starting off with, and of course they have a Luke and a, a Darth Vader. Um, I like that Walker that was never in anything hey. except the Clone Wars. Yeah. yeah. Um, the the Luke looks. Man, the Vader looks all right. I, I've never liked that pose for Luke figs. Most figs are of Luke are that pose for some reason. Yeah. <sighs> Vader's a classic pose, you know. Yeah. Doing the the reach out. Um, I just think like you already made a miniatures game with Imperial Assault, and that's fun enough, and it actually has story behind it. I just think like. You're not going to tap into if I want if I want sci-fi miniatures. I've already got a game for that, mm -hmm. and, they, and they play. I don't think they're going to get any of those GW fans, the 40k fans. They're going to get a few people to buy the kit. They're not. Gonna I'll get probably get one of the kits just to have some model, you know, just yeah. to have the models. And for that exact same reason, because like, oh, it'll be good to have some stormtroopers that are for Star Wars. Yeah, especially playing a, like a Star Wars RPG or something. These. Oh perfect. yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see how it comes out. If they start having big vehicles and they, you know, like a little bit more than just if this is the biggest thing they got, I don't want to play. This doesn't. If look it's a skirmish game, I don't want to play it. 
If it's a war game, I can do the Battle of Hoth, fucking cannon and shit. I can agree I'm with... I'm fucking down with this game. I'm you know? on par with that, but this doesn't even look like it's... Uh, those don't look like they're multi-part plastic kits that are customizable. Those look like they're multi-part half plastic, half resin kits that you yeah, snap into. I do into. wonder if you do build them, or if they are pre-made like the Imperial Assault ones. What yes. size is the map? How... We don't know yet. I don't think we've seen them on a table. I, th I might have one more picture of them. Yeah, okay. So there's like, I think this is just a display table. Okay. But this looks pretty big. That looks m bigger than a 4x4. Four four. Yeah. Um, you know, that's way the fuck down there. But there's still nothing new here. It's like some stormtroopers, some stormtroopers, two bikes, one walker. And rebel troops. Now, do like the minigun? Just the start. Yeah, that's what that's what I mean. I'm I'm keeping my I'm keeping my hopes out out there up, but I'm also going jack skeptical. What if I said that you proprietary dice? That makes that takes it three ticks down the ladder. Because this is I fantasy fight we're talking, dice. About, talking about. I hate having to have a dice that I need to learn what the symbols mean. I, I you know. Just write on a chart what this what a two means. That can mean exactly the same as a symbol. I don't need a fucking symbol, you know? I want to use my dice to roll my shit. I don't need new dice with lightsabers, and this one's got blaster pistols on it, and this one's got, you know, uh, <laughs> you know? I, I don't like it. I don't like it. No. I don't like proprietary dice. That's one reason I really despised the, that uh, Star Wars Destiny game. It's just pictures of people on dice. You know, you get a card and you roll for pictures. I'm like, this feels like I'm two years old, you know? Like, don't treat me like an adult, man, please. All right, so we're going to move on to America's number one segment, Life or Life. We've got a great one today. And this is our, our, our job in this segment is to figure out is this life, or is she LARPing? All right. I have an announcement to make to y'all, to the people of America. Already? Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> life. <laughs> life? Yeah, all right. Early, <laughs> an early life. All right, we've got an early life. Fit this here McDonald's on Dorset. It's uh, Monday. That wig is fucked up. Looks like, um... Looks like a like a like, sea anemone. <laughs> <laughs> looks like, like a like a there, literal yeah. like a duster. Like she's got a duster down the back of her shirt that's like on the top of her. <sighs> I was just disrespected in there. Almost got to fight with the gal in there. First of all, my first issue is the drive-through was filled all the way up. Was filled all the way up. Filt. It was filt. That's a uh, p h i l t. <laughs> It was filth all the way up. Filth. All right. I had to walk inside. Oh, fuck. These people. The horror. No, the hold horror. On, hold on. Up next, the inside was filth too. <laughs> you think it was filth? It might be filth. It might be empty. Let's see. So then I'm, you know, I'm already mad because I got to get out my car and go inside. Bitch. So I, I politely say, hey, uh, can I have a McRib meal? Pause it. <laughs> I so politely say, say. Yeah, I was already pissed. So and I walk in and pissed, politely say. Pissed, so I politely say. Yeah, I walk in. I was already pissed because it was all filled up outside. Now, I was on board with life. Until a certain part, and it's, it's almost there. You were almost filt. I was almost filt with on the life side. Okay. On the life side, and we're almost there. You're getting to lark. We're, we're getting to the point where I say lark size with the Dr Pepper. That's an accurate. Now that's specific. Lark yeah. size Dr Pepper. Bam. She's already got an accurate order in. That leads me towards life. Oh well, I'm gonna say I'm still gonna stick with life. I you know. And the lady said. Okay, uh, that'd be six, six fifty eight. That'd be six. Okay, that'd be six fifty eight. Six fifty eight. It was filth, and then I have to pay six. I can't believe it's six fifty eight when it's all filth up outside. 
I keep going. We're not at that point yet. We're almost there. I said, ain't you forgetting something? <laughs> We're getting oh, there. Already! Now, if you're doing if you're behind a counter and I go, aren't you forgetting something? I'm already giving you some shit. I'm already like, I can't just go, aren't I supposed to get, you know, whenever the thing, okay. the discount? I need to ask a question before I bring this point up. Is okay. the McRib a temporary, like... It's always temporary. Always McRib, temporary. Yeah, it comes around every year. It's an annual thing. Okay. Yeah, it comes around once a year, and it sticks around for a little bit, and then it's gone. Okay. Do they I ever... heard they're white. I saw this video, and they were like, this guy went into the freezer, and he showed them they're white before they get cooked. So, they're, yeah. Don't... It's, no, you're like, yep, they're... I don't no. want to talk about that part. It's, no, don't talk about any of it. It's <laughs> like McRib, like... I, I just wanted to make sure that it was like... Yeah. She walks in, orders a McRib, mm-hmm. and it's like, which is a temporary promotion. I do yeah. not find it likely at all that there is a f- free order with offer for a temporary promotion. They they usually yeah do. no no I've had that they before. have multi coupons that go out yeah. that would do that well, that, so. that, that she's supposed but that you're so every commercial no, is I, supposed to say something I, I've actually benefited from this very deal that she's talking about okay yeah. all right all right I am but a you fan need the of the big rib but you need the coupon right. so unless she gave them the coupon are you forgetting this something means jack shit like well I didn't get a coupon this was just a deal it was like. Another one for a dollar or something. If you get the McRib okay. meal, you get oh. one extra McRib for a dollar. Okay, so even this is still a bit life. Yeah, yeah, but it's still a temporary promotion. And probably, yeah. like, of the month that the McRib is around, it's probably around for a week, that promotion. It's like right before yeah. the end. They're just trying to get rid of all the McRibs. All right. So they're trying to, you know what I mean, like, hustle them out. Ma'am. She said, well, what? I said, you're supposed to offer me the extra McRib for a dollar when you buy the McRib meal. Me up and down. Ugh. Ugh. That's the part wait, I don't wait, believe. Wait. That right there no, is no, where I find no, out that... No, because what comes next defines that, all right? Uh. Because I want to see what savage, destructive <laughs> thing this cashier had to say. I just... Is it... I don't think you need another McRib, ma'am. And he just leaves it at that, or... Like, all right, like, all right. And she said, well, don't look like you need the extra McRib. <laughs> <laughs> no, she volunteered it. Like, yeah. bitch, you don't need it. Look at your fat ass. Damn. And she don't. She don't. Damn. She literally okay. don't. But if she wants it, she can have it. She well, can the, have it, those but McRibs she don't need it. McRib's is probably why she's wearing that wig. No one needs it. No <laughs> one yeah, needs it. Yeah, nobody needs it. Darian, you know what's in them. No, no one does. Excuse me, bitch! Excuse me. <laughs> Past this point, I believe it's LARP. Like, from excuse me, bitch, and onward, I believe everything is LARP. Excuse- well, have you ever been in an argument and you thought of the perfect line <laughs> afterwards? I do it all the time. I'll be driving home and I'll be like, yeah, motherfucker, like... Excuse me, bitch! You know, like, oh, and I start, you know, like... The jerk store called. Yeah. <laughs> They're running out of you! They're running out of you! Yeah, I always <laughs> think of the perfect one on the way home, yelling at myself. I'll reenact the scene, and then try to make myself feel better for feeling like such a bitch earlier, <laughs> for not saying the thing. So I still say this is life. I say this is life. Okay. So this I, is think she, I, I think she just by. thought of it when she got outside, and she's trying to get this chick... Okay. I throw punch that bitch. <laughs> Whoa! All right, that went in a direction I didn't expect. And I throw punch that bitch. So and that's why I said it's Lark because if she throw punch that bitch, she'd be being arrested. Yeah, right there'd now. be like sirens and fucking cops outside. Yeah, she would be filming right in front of that McDonald's. I don't think, I, this is why I think it's a, one of those fantasies, like. I said, excuse me, that I throat punched her, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, right there you we know, go. Because she made me feel like a gigantic fat slob. And, you know. There. So if you come to the Dorset McDonald's and you see a lady named Charlene in there, tell her Carla sent you. And <laughs> tell her Carla sent you. I liked the pause, is like, well, oh yeah, what should I tell? Uh, I, think, I don't think I can incite them to violence <laughs> against Carla. 
at the Dorset McDonald's. Against McDonald's. Charlene. <laughs> sent yeah. by Carla. By Carla, yes. Oh, man. If it wasn't all filled up, none of this would have happened. Oh, dude. Filt up. There'd be a chick with a fine with a throat that wasn't, you punched. know, punched in. Charlene, if you ever see this video, I'm punch sorry. Punch her in the cooter. I don't give a damn. Punch her in the cooter. Right there. This Advocating violence. Right. Punch I, her in the I cooter. Go punch her in the cooter. Punch her in the cooter. I still punch say her life right. because is she improving all of this? She definitely is, is improving. Is she improving it? Well, she could, I think she's improving it after she walked out of the thing. She could be telling them to punch, telling people to punch that lady in the snapping turtle. Yeah, cooter. Yeah. I very well might or think an old, it could have happened. Or an old folksy uh, prospector named Cooter. Yeah. Oh, that's just old Cooter, you know? Yeah, yeah. You can, you can, you can punch old Cooter. I, I still say it's life. I think it really happened. All right. I'll look it up. Dor what you know say? What? Dorset? Dusset? Yeah, Dorset, Dorset McDonald's. Dorset? Yeah. Okay. So, woman arrested in Dorset <laughs> for punching. assault. <laughs> yeah. Or no, for battery. Assault and battery. Uh, yeah. Throat-related battery. Because, I mean, there, it is possible that she started recording this, like, as she left. So she did just leave after doing this. <laughs> it takes cops 10, 15 minutes to get there. Like, I'm going to say this is a LARF. I think she did get embarrassed for being a fat slob buying too many McRibs. But she just politely grabbed her McRibs and walked outside and came up with a LARP I'm gonna say for we're, the situation. I'm going to say we're having a LARF. We're having a LARF? No, we're having a LARF. Life. I think this really happened. Uh, Carla, yeah. I feel for the situation. All right. Charlene. Dude, I you you, you have an audition. Me. Need a monologue? No. There you go. No. I throw punch that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I said, excuse me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you just changed it to a dude. I said, excuse me, motherfucker. All right. All right. So, we're going to move on to uh, Bratislava's number one game show, Epic Battles. Oh, boy. Epic Battles! Epic Battles! All right. Epic Battles is where we take two different characters from pop culture, fiction... History, all over the place, and we put them together in our talkers arena of our choosing, and we have them fight it out to the death. Now, bearing in mind all plot armor, plot armor is if something happens to a character, or a character is known for something, it's going to happen to them in this battle. All right. That being said, our first battle, we've got Magneto versus the Shadow. Now, the Shadow has the power to cloud men's minds. Right? And he knows what fear lurks in the hearts of men. So he knows the fear that lurks in the hearts of Magneto. But can he cloud his mind? Because he's got that helmet right there. Ooh. Now that keeps Charles from fucking with his shit. And I think it's all psychic power. Because I think the knife that flies through the air, I think they control that with their mind. Because didn't um, the descendant of Genghis Khan... I think he even said something about it being psychic power. They said in psychic power in the movie, but in the, like everything else, it's just old timey Asian mysticism. Okay, yeah. Uh, he went to the Orient. And most yeah. of the stuff is just based off of making eye contact. Hmm. So without like a visor and the helmet. Well, he's Magneto. The bullets he can sense, the guns he can sense. Uh, Do you think he could be able to cloud? Because if he could, if he could just make himself disappear in Magneto's mind, he could. Yeah. He could definitely take him. I think. Because Magneto's an old man, and he doesn't necessarily need guns to beat bitches' ass. All right, all right. Is it movie Shadow versus movie Magneto? Yes. All right then. That's entirely different. In the movie, they straight up say it's psychic powers. Yeah. Uh, psychic powers that usually focused on some kind of like already magical object, but the Khan did use it to just throw glass. The shadow yeah. takes it. The shadow takes it. Why? Because who knows what fear lurks in the heart of men? The shadow knows. The shadow knows. So you're telling me he, Magneto, is going to sleep in his armor? He's going to sit there 24 hours a day with that helmet on? No. And the moment it's off, the shadow knows. 
I mean, that is his story. It is his story. <laughs> like, yeah, we, is. We, we'd yeah. like arrange the fight. Yeah. The shadow wouldn't be there. We were and like, he's like, what the hell? And he's like, can I go home? We're like, no, man. We're tasked. To, this is to the death, dude. We're all watching this till the end. And he's like, all right, well. I'm going to sleep. I don't think he's here. Yeah. <laughs> it just tips off a little bit off his head. And when? Shadow, the shadow's in. Bah! The shadow's in and it's over. <laughs> like, Takes the helmet, breaks it. Done. Oh, shadow. And then he sees all the mutants <laughs> dying. And then, and, then the, no. and then the lights go out in the arena and we all hear, ha <laughs> 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 The shadow knows. All right, so we're giving this to the shadow. All right, man. Our next battle is... Kenshin Imura versus... The X. There you go. Ah, guts. All right, Batosai, the Manslayer, versus the Black Swordsman. Hmm. Now, I'm assuming I'm not too familiar with guts. All right. You know, I've seen the characters, never actually seen them in action or anything. Okay. I'm assuming he's kind of a tank, though. With the giant sword, usually denounce strength. He's got some throwing knives. Is he good at those? Are those a thing? Or do they just look Quite accurate cool? with them. Okay. Uh, you, But just like historical throwing knives, unless he gets you in the eye or the hand, it's just a distraction. Metal uh, gauntlet? Metal, uh, prosthetic metal hand. He uh, wins. He wins. He has, a, he has a katana, a single katana against that. His defense is... He'll break his sword. Kenshin will break his sword fighting him because all he needs is one block with the arm. Like, all right. Uh, the, the, it has a wrist-mounted repeating crossbow on it, and uh, and he can pull a cord right there that turns it into a small cannon. Does he have any oh. kind of magical ability or anything? Super... He can, he can strike it, like, here, 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 and here at the same time somehow. At the same time. That's pretty fucking... <laughs> yeah, right. right. Like, you, 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 you guys see, um... Roni Kenshin? Yeah, Roni Kenshin. A, a little bit of it in a long time ago. Okay. Yeah. Is that uh, like a super move that he only busts out like at the end of a fight when he's getting his ass kicked and he needs to murder he the only guy? Or is it something he does to start? He, he dodges... His, his entire plot is based on uh, fight style is I dodge your crazy whatever assassin technique you're doing on me and then I do one on you. Except I'm doing... Except I'm like using the re reverse end of my sword so I'm not trying to kill you. Uh, okay. Though he still... can't, so can he find the fighting style of Guts and... Uh, interesting... Yeah. Uh, he can find the big sword, the cannon will catch him off guard and kill him, though. If he, like, doesn't smell the gunpowder. Yeah. If he's not used to sudden spring-loaded weaponry coming out of wrists. Yeah, I figure if he throws knives, he'll just ting, ting, ting him out yeah. of the air. Uh, um, the what's... sword, once you see that sword, you know, if that sword touches my sword, it's broke. Yeah. So don't touch that sword. He yeah. sees the limb. Yeah. Which means you know no strikes yeah. on his. Yeah. Left and don't side. let him grab it either. Uh, don't strike from his left <laughs> side. You have also, to swing around to yeah. the sword. Also, carries a lot of backup weapons because he knows he's got a semi-inefficient. Is mind. he an assassin? He has done assassin work. But he's he's a warrior. He's a okay. Yeah. Okay. Becomes a knight by the end of the first story arc, and then. From what you've told me, I'm gonna actually give it to him. I'm going to say he's going to be the more disciplined fighter, that he's going to be more of like a, what do I need to get grab? There's this philosophy that uh, Bruce Lee set, a, set down that said, um, I never fear a guy with a knife, because a guy with a knife is thinking about the one of two things he can do with the knife. He can slash me with the knife, or he can stab me with the knife. And that's all he's thinking about. How do I slash him, or how do I stab him? I'm thinking, how do I use my elbow? to smash his face? How do I use my leg to kick his knee out? I'm thinking 360 degrees around him, camera, um, <laughs> and he's only thinking in 2D with his little knife. I'm, he's thinking, I do this, and I've got a, I'm using my head, my arms, my legs, all these different weapons, and he's only focused on one. I think that's where he takes it. I think he's like, if he can copy fighting styles in, in, a, in a roundabout kind of way, yeah. He sees him with that, you know, burst thing, throwing out all these kind of things. Okay, this is a guy I can't get too close to. He's going to have a few tricks. I need to back up and kind of let him... I, I need to be more reactionary to what he's doing, you know, instead of just running in. Because if I run in, he's going to pull out some crazy thing and blow me away with it. Yeah. Um, 
to answer your earlier question, though, the cannon is a risk cannon is a last resort. Whereas, uh, just by, and his, I'm striking you at several places at the same time technique is also a last resort. Uh, so maybe his cannon goes off as, as he cuts he's him up? Yeah. yeah. Or so, something like that. So uh, does the cannon blow kill him? Probably not. Just like whatever killing technique he used on Guts, according to Guts' storyline, is he loses a lot of fights. But he, like, wins by surviving and then killing the other guy because the yeah, eye stood up first and pulled out a knife or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, make this one a tie. I could. This could be a very good tie. A draw, yeah. yeah. Like I, w I picked two ones that I honestly couldn't, for myself, judge. So that's why I brought it up. All right, a, a tabletop talkers tie. Good show. Who should bring them up for a rematch? Okay. All right, next match. Here. Got Spartacus Ooh, versus nope. Maximus. <sighs> All right, so we've got the threshing hero of old, the uh, Spartacus, and we have hero of the Republic, the Spaniard Maximus from Gladiator. Um, now, Maximus was able to, in the gladiatorial arena, I think he was able to capitalize on a lot of his military stuff. And a lot of the stuff he had to do was either one-on-one -on -one combat with inferior people or uh, group combat in a warlike scenario where they had to take on a chariot or they had to take on a tiger or yeah. something, you know? Um, and he was able to, like, command the guys to do shit, to be able to de-chariot the person and be able to, you know, go up there and kill. Now, Spartacus spends all day at Eleutis with people trying to kill him. All day. In one-on-one -on -one combat. Um... Remember how badly he did against Tigris. He did, and uh, and he didn't do too good against Commodus, and Commodus wasn't even that good. Now he was badass, but I, I just Spartacus at at his height doesn't lose and doesn't even come close to losing. He takes on like the biggest dude in the world, cuts his fucking head off. You know that uh, the shadow of. Uh, Took him on yeah. with Crixus though, yeah. and used Crixus's help. Without Crixus, Spartacus very well may have died. I'll make that argument. Alright. Would overwhelm him with the dual weapon style. That's what I was thinking, right there. Is uh, the fact I that he remember, fights with two blades instead of one. But I think he uses a shield? Uh, he, he, he switches around with his offhand as to whatever is effective at the moment. Uh, in the fight against, um, uh, usually that hand, like that hand, whatever is in that hand gets knocked out. Uh, somewhere else in the arena, and it's if it, Spartacus, I think Spartacus is, style is just going to be better. He's going to spend more time training against single swordsmen, against sword and board. He knows about trident and net and shit. Well, you and know? I agree with you because he spends every day training. He how many times did we see him locked up in his now, cell? Yeah. Now a group of guys versus. Like, say, Spartacus is leading a group of people from House Badiatus, and he's leading some gladiators from his area, you know, era, and it's the same uh, number of dudes, I actually think he would win. Because I think he'd be able to command the dudes to, like, make a proper shield wall. And, you know, be able to defend people from those, like, you know, kind of one-on-one -on -one okay. kind of yeah. tactics. But also were, like, freaking centuries apart, weren't they? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I was just I just wanted to I clarify so. that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I so, uh, what do you guys think? Spartacus. I say Spartacus. Spartacus. Uh, the additional dudes I don't even think would matter that much because that was a very like the internal workings of that Ludus was great. And if, well, he isn't Danicus. able to, but he isn't able to command people like he was. True. He had these people. They were so scared. They didn't know what the fuck was going on. And next thing you know, they're fighting. Professional charioteers with fucking crazy chariots and shit, and and doing yeah. good. You is know? he is he like so? He's not like with the other. He's not like champion and has the other Ludus's of the gladiators from. No, 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 not like yeah. You know, he's just then got they like, would be loyal. Okay, he's like, just got yeah, men. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. gonna say if you had Danicus on there, sorry, yeah. Danicus is worth like fifty of his fucking. Yeah, men, yeah, so. just him and Danicus takes on. <laughs> yeah. And Gannicus, ha, 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 ha. Laughing the entire... Throwing, he's just slaying people. Yeah. Laughing. It's like a, a he's laughing blender. You throw in Crixus and they'll need more Russell Crows. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, so my last battle is Robocop versus a T-1000 from uh, the Terminator Salvation movie. These are basically just the, uh, the what we saw in the first Terminator movie, but in, you know, in the daylight. Oh, okay. With their guns and everything. Guns strapped to them. Yeah. Bolted to them. Um, now, Robocop does have the motto, Dead or Alive, You're Coming With Me. Um, um, robots are neither. It's like so. Yeah. I stay. Yeah. <laughs> um, that I was think... one of the funnest and hardest platformers on the Sega Genesis. Robocop. Robocop versus Terminator. They actually had one. It was a Dark Horse comic, man. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, like uh, um, what's his name again? Robocop. Robocop was like. I want Robo Robocop with me. He was, he was in, there's a video game about it, man. Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> Those are crazy ass guns. It's now, still Robocop. T T one thousands and their robot form seem to be a lot easier to fool and fuck over than like you, you ever notice like when the it's just a skeleton like in the um like at the end of the first Terminator. Yeah, yeah. And it's just not not as dangerous then. You know, somehow it's it doesn't easier to... It doesn't seem as dangerous, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it is. Yeah. Like, like when it grabbed her ankle, I'm just like, her foot's gone. But yeah. Because it is a machine, like, crunch. But it's still, like, it's easier to, like, smack it in the head and, and do, like... It just seems like, like when, when Arnie's there, you can, like, shoot him, and it's just like, boom, and he keeps coming. But... Terminator form, you can shoot it, and then it's like all falling over. Which to and me shit. doesn't make sense, only yeah. because you're telling me that the, the, <laughs> the, the artificial flesh that they put on that thing it helps its yeah, balance. Yeah, come on, get out of here. Lowers its center of gravity. That that ending skeleton that is just as dangerous as Arnie. Like, but I think I'm gonna give it to to Robocop bum, bum, simply bum, for the bum. fact that he could probably trick him into thinking he's just a machine. And doesn't he have alternate rounds? Like, doesn't he have, like, explosive rounds and, like, armor-piercing rounds? Check. Yes, he has crazy pistol. What percentage of him he is... He could also organic? plug into... The Not very much. I think some guts and a little bit of head. Would he, brain. Would he even register as something that that well, thing would want? Well, in Terminator Salvation, I don't know if it was true, because at the end they say, oh, this is all a plan, because the, the, key, the thing in Terminator Salvation was they made a cyborg. And um, and uh, the cyborg, like, was supposed to be a plant from Skynet to bring John Connor to the place to be killed or whatever. Um, but it read him as machine and just said, yeah, yeah, these things. Because there's no really, like, people walking around, you know, with machine parts in that era. So if you're mostly machine, maybe it just says, oh, you're some kind of fucking weird model. We don't know about yet. And, uh comic book he was at the computer core center for uh, Skynet because OCP was behind uh, Cyberdyne. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to give it to Robocop. I th just think his, his shots are going to be a little more effective. Mm -hmm. He's got a gun that can do some crazy shit. Yeah. So we're going to give it to we're going to give it Robocop? Yeah. yeah. And, this, and this is not like he's wielding much that we haven't seen people shoot at Robocop before. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my last battle is Samurai Jack versus Cloud <laughs> Strife. Now, Clyde is, uh, Cloud has got, like, magical abilities. Yes. And he's, now, does he have any of, like, um, materia? Uh, can he, like, summon Ifrit? I mean, I didn't really think that through. He comes into battle with full health and mana. Yeah, but... Let's just, uh, <laughs> Can he cast what the shit he does in Final Fantasy? Because if he does, <laughs> he immediately destroys him. But he's Samurai Jack. It doesn't matter. <laughs> he can call oh, like a giant fucking flaming fucking Demon. Lionel <laughs> <laughs> throws a fucking uh, sun at you. Or a comet. That's true. I didn't really think this was. Dodge through. Comet. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Yeah, man. <laughs> they both have swords. 
But he's not going to be using it. And he's got a buster. He's got a gun in his sword, doesn't he? No, no. that's the that's eight, not no. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> he can that's shoot right. with his sword. <laughs> Sam, I don't jack on that shit. Poor, I, I want him to win. We're just saying what happened. Sucks that he doesn't know how to zip up his boots, though. Yeah, that might make... All right, let's rethink this now. Does his boots trip him up? Then... Uh, well, uh, <laughs> after the shit that goes on in his gate, might. Yeah, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> He slips out of his boots and he can't. He's like, ah! It'd be like slipping out of his boots and then stepping on rocks. <laughs> All right, that's a good, like, whose plot armor is more dominant in this situation? He's, this his girlfriend his... died. His no longer existed. World. Yeah. <laughs> but that isn't, really, that isn't really their plot armor. No. Like, Jack loses fights. Yeah. He loses his weapons. He loses... Fights, but you can always do it again. <laughs> yeah. And and I want to say that like like if you made him a character standing on the other side of that game map, and Cloud could do all the stuff Cloud can do, and Samurai Jack can do all the stuff Samurai Jack can do, and you let him just run around. And not even playing the same kind of game. <laughs> I still think Cloud wins. Yeah. Because Cloud can just throw fireballs and all these lightning spells and all this different kind of crazy shit that just he's like... How many times has Sephiroth been brought back to life? Too numerous to properly count. Yeah. Is he dead? Question mark. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't, we don't, I, don't I didn't so. finish the newest, the, the last season. Is Aku dead? Spoilers. Uh, spoilers. Spoilers. Uh, spoilers. I'm asking spoilers. the question. Spoilers. So uh, spoiler Aku, uh, he met, he fell in love with one of the daughters of Aku. Daughter of Aku fell in love with Jack. They, um, she finally in the second to last, uh, the very last episode realizes she has all the powers of uh, that Aku does. Screams open a time portal like from the first episode of Samurai Jack. They jump through it, get married. She no longer exists because because uh, Jack did go into the future, and Aku never took over the thing. And the first thing he does when he gets back to the past is ah remnants of Aku that have yet to fully grow. So he's dead. The, yeah, Aku, Aku. But kind of like Aku's a time boring. travel. I killed him as a, as a okay. sperm. All right. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Jack killed his last villain. <laughs> yeah. Cloud but but he needed it. help from Aku. Cloud needs his party. It's not like you fight Sephiroth alone. No. Well, you don't need his party. I, like I said, he could be in a game where you run around and hack and slash, like an adventure action adventure game. He could still be in an RTS and go, okay, I'll wait for my turn after you've cut me fifty times. And how many times is block just happen when what you level? swing at somebody? What level you know? is cloud? It doesn't matter. That does matter. Okay, here's no. the thing. Here's why well, I say it matters it's because at level prime, one, at whatever, level whatever, one, how high can he get? Well, that's yeah. how high. At level one. Because Jack... No, he's not level one. He is the highest level you could get. He is the ancestral bearer of the ancestral sword of We saw him getting levels in yeah. the fucking first episode. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. First level... Or uh, the level. First episode, he fights Aku and is winning. Yeah. He would have killed Aku he episode already, one. Like, and, But he was already still the bearer of that ancestral sword. He was yeah. already level ten going into that movie. All right, so he's level 99. He has 9,999 health, 999 mana. Um, How about we put him in a different game? They're both in Street Fighter. Who wins now? Both in Street Fighter? Cloud, because he has projectiles. Jack has Scott, has Jack's, Jack Scott got dodging skills. Yeah, dude, he can do some sometimes magical shit with his sword. Like, you know... Jack would be able to, like, attack magic out of the air yeah. like Street Fighter with his sword. Um, is Jack faster than Sephiroth? I wouldn't say so, no. Then yeah, he's unnaturally fast. Which, which, because he which blocks Sephiroth? Sephiroth. <laughs> Final like, four. Like, okay, so, um, like, like seven Sephiroth. Was it Advent okay. Children? Is that the... That's the movie. Yeah, that one. That, okay. that final battle with Sephiroth, Advent Children... Right there. If if he's not faster than Sephiroth, Cloud wins because Cloud can block Sephiroth's fucking strikes. Jack won't be able to touch him. Man, this is a hard one to decide, man. 
I, I, I want to say Cloud. Just because yeah, he's got just so much more. Man, I just think about when you hit that, what am I going to do with Cloud this turn? You know? And there's a lot of shit I can do that's pretty badass. Yeah, if he has the right material out, he doesn't even need to, re re like, try to swing it. Jack, you can just... I got attack all material. Yeah. <laughs> that's all what right. I'm saying. Yeah. We're giving it to Cloud. I didn't think that one through. Alright, and Sorry, then your Jackie. last battle is the Doctor versus Rick. Alright, so while he's mentally, still mentally trying to figure out what's going on and and coping with the fact that that known interdimensional monster Rick Sanchez is in front of him, <laughs> uh, Rick is going to be like, oh, I get it. Pull out a thing, put a thing on a thing, and shoot him with a Time Lord killing gun. And then double tap in the middle of a freaking uh, regeneration. And like, all right, we're done. What do I win? With a burp thrown burp. in there. Is he, is, he, is he impressed by the sonic screwdriver? No. The thing that can fix it. fixes anything. He thinks it's asinine. But it fixes anything. Sonic screwdriver? I made one of those when I was like, 12. It's like, know? it doesn't fix anything. <laughs> it's just a screwdriver. Okay. What you need is a plumbus. <laughs> um... Oh, Rick Sanchez, man. He is very... Br he got turned into a pickle. A pickle that could just be broken. You know, like any old pickle. And he ended up killing an entire Russian mafia after taking on... Rats. Giant rats to him, you know. Uh, Damn. And using their skeletons and brains... And muscle sinew and nervous systems. Yeah, to make himself into the perfect... Rat, kill, pickle, kill something hybrid. Now, he looks just like a human. Rick Sanchez doesn't know who the Doctor is? Or That's does he not... Know? Everyone who travels through time or dimensions knows, knows about who the Doctor Yeah, is. and everyone, everyone would know about and Rick, And knows too. what he looks like? Rick, there's Ricks everywhere. There's... Everywhere. The Council, the Council of, of Ricks. Ricks. All right. Well, I'm just speaking on plot armor. Yeah. All right? I think the doctor takes it. Actually, you know, it does actually go that way. Rick can die. Yeah. Well. And has died. Well, no, no, in no. several universes. Even like I said, with his double tap Time Lord bullet nonsense, like the just how episodes play out, and especially with it being David Tennant, you know, yeah. everyone's that's what I'm saying. Favorite he, sucker, doctor. He doctor, doesn't. But the fucking. He has what? It, what River. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, he had. Um, he had Amy. No, no, no. Uh, right? No, no, no. He had Rose and Rose. That was the one. Rose. And, River um, Song, right? River Song. There was a couple of River episodes, but yeah. she wasn't really a proper companion until far later. No, yeah, she was but more she, of a she'd stone. know about this meat. She'd fucking know. She would find a way. No matter where we put it, she would find a way, and she'd be the one to kill Rick Sanchez. It wouldn't be. The doctor doing it. He might get double tapped or whatever, but Rick's not walking Actually, out of there alive. Actually, that's not necessarily true. If you watch the last Christmas special, you know that there's a perfectly logical reason uh, why they don't remember Christmas specials, and that's because crossovers have weird time vortex things going on that like erase the memories after they happen. So, like, he, she wouldn't necessarily remember uh, or even know uh, that this ever happened. I see it going down like this. We transport them into our Tabletop Talkers arena. Rick just starts being very blasé. Maybe kills a person or two. Just because of his I don't give a fuck attitude. And the doctor sees him as this horrifying monster. Like, on par with, you know... Master. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. And he's like, I've got to end this. And the, he's got regenerations to do. And... His plot armor always is, is, I'm going to act like I don't have any clue what's going on, but then at the end, I knew the whole time, and I've been setting up things yeah. this whole time, and it always works out. Even if I, like, am going to die to be regenerated, it still worked out, the plan. Yep. He got onto a roof and told every alien species known in that universe... Hey, I'm here. You want to fight? And they all just left. That, I, I don't think... The Council of Ricks are always trying to take down Rick. And Rick has died in universes. 
Yeah. I there's only one Time Lord I think throughout universes. I don't think there's multiple Time Lords like multiple David Tennants throughout time. You know uh, what I mean? I think they're a species unique to dimension. You know what I mean? In time. Yeah. And it's actually that that'd be a cool explanation for why they are the ones who are able to do all of this. Yeah. Um. Well, the explanation is because the planet was next to the time vortex, which mm. makes them uniquely boobajoo, like you said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it just he has too solid a plot armor, and Rick doesn't. If there's a funny thing to be said about him dying, then it'll happen. You know what I mean? Another Rick will take his place, or he downloaded himself into a thing. But yeah. for the purposes of our fight, who yeah. falls over dead? It's, it's Rick yeah. Sanchez. Yeah. yeah. And he doesn't want to do it. He cries. It's a big emotional episode. Rose is like he got to. Ruins he, the rest of yeah, the episode. Yeah, he almost probably. hates Rose now because of... He made me do it. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it happens. He does it. He sees the... the maybe, you know, Rick just goes pickle Rick and just starts fucking taking out people in the audience. Like, you're not going to let me out, huh? Da -da -da -da. I said let me out. Don't touch you with that stick. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> you know? And David's tenants like, I can't believe it. He's very mouthy when he acts. Yeah. Very, he's, he's very in the mouth. He is. I give it to the doctor. I give it to the doctor, too. Doctor who? Uh, meh. Meh. Yeah, uh, all right, yeah, doctor yeah, takes yeah. it. You haven't sold me, but you guys... We outvoted. You outvoted me. All right. Well, we're going we're gonna to hold on this picture of, uh, of Rick here <gasps> for our next segment our next segment is Imperial Truth or Heresy Oh no! this is where we take three stories two of them are true, one of them is false your job is to try and figure out which one you think is not true alright so, here it is my first three stories are Chinese man discovers after his wife has an ugly baby that looks nothing like her or him that his wife has had extensive plastic surgery. Uh, sues her for being ugly in one. Wow. Ooh. Sues her for being ugly. In one. In one. All right. In Downumpur, India, the trains often have power outages due to the uh, roaming blackouts. When this happened, passengers take turns pushing them to their destination. So these people jump out of the train and just push it up into the, the next uh, yard. All right. And the last one, in France, a $4 million yacht was sunk um, and several people killed when it capsized because all the passengers moved to one side while passing a nudist beach. All right. So, Chinese man sues his wife for being ugly and one... Uh, trains sometimes have power outages in India and passengers have to push or in France a four million dollar boat was sunk because everybody moved to one side France that one. boat sunk that, that one? that one it, it was it's gotta be a more expensive boat or some shit like that that's what it is <laughs> it is the heresy but it, it was a fourteen million dollar yeah. boat it was a gigantic yacht that had like a shit ton of people on it and yeah is that not insane? Like, everybody went to one side and the whole fucking thing capsized? And it happened so fast, like, all these people were, like, killed because they were on, like, the second deck and they just, like... Damn! Yeah. Uh, Alright. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Okay. So that means, that means it's true that a Chinese man sued yes. his wife for being ugly and fucking won. He's like, you ugly bitch, I'm suing you. <laughs> and that they got to push trains in India. Yeah, they got to push trains. Yeah, sometimes. Every now and then. All right. So I got... Price a pay. I got, I got some that are uniquely American. Okay. All right. A uh, 20-year-old woman escapes kidnapping because her kidnappers couldn't drive stick shift. <laughs> Oh man, that's so believable. I want to. Yeah. Uh, my daughter, my daughter just turned sixteen. She bought a car. She was so excited. Immediately sold the car because she tried to drive it once and got intimidated by the stick shift. No, uh, man, just learn. I know, I know. All right. I was like, once you want to drive that, you can drive anything. Yeah. And she's no. All right. Florida man returns butternut squash because he thought it was cheese. He buys it. Oh. What? Okay. Do you know if it was a whole squash 
or slices. No, it's uh, we don't get any of that information. We get what oh. he told us. So <laughs> he thought it was she is it like shredded it, squash, maybe? Do they sell that? I don't I don't know. Alright, what's the third? I'll think on that. <laughs> One of them is like that yellow too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, Kansas woman tries to kill bug with lighter and sets her whole house on fire. Oh, oh I want that one to be true. Happened. The second one's fake. Yeah. I want the other two to be true because it's that squash. ridiculous. Yeah, the second squash. one's fake. <laughs> That's the, you think it's the butternut squash? Yeah. yeah. You are correct, but it is not the part of it you think it is. Okay. It was not a Florida man. Oh, Missouri man strikes again. <laughs> also Kansas, actually. Oh, also okay. Kansas. Fair. See? Fair. We're not all dumb. Fair. In Florida. <laughs> all right. See? <laughs> all right. An axe-wielding man nearly kills a woman in her home. A Florida man is arrested for his 26th time. And a mom leaves her one-year-old in the car for 30 minutes. Obviously arrested for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say 26 times, man. You're just going to be locked up forever after a certain point. After 15, you know, it's like you're just, you're done. I'm going to say locked up 26 times. Who is number one again? An axe-wielding man nearly kills a woman in her own home while asking for directions. Sorry, I can have directions. I shorthand wrote all this, so yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 sorry. And the third one? Uh, a mom leaves her one-year-old in her car for 30 minutes while going into a supermarket. I wonder if she thinks it's like... I could totally see that lady just like, you know what, the baby will be fine. The fat one's watching the skinny one. All right, I'm going to go with uh, number three. I'm going to go with number two. It was actually number one. Oh, really? All right. How, what state, sad statement is that we believe axe murder? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah! No, but, uh, <laughs> we don't believe axe murder. <laughs> Here's the thing. A woman was actually saved in her home by her axe-wielding boyfriend when someone who asked for directions forced his way inside. Jesus. The boyfriend Damn. ran. So that guy's like, oh, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna rob ah. this bitch or something. And he busts in. Ooh, and then suddenly, the throat, yeah! Slammed her into a wall. The boyfriend runs in, picks axe. up an axe that they had sitting, that they had by the door for protection. And forces oh, protection. the, and, and yeah, Jesus. dude, oh my god. Like, that story. <laughs> uh, yeah, 26th time happened. <laughs> and it was 30 minutes in Key Largo. And she was like, nothing happens in Key Largo. Well, you happened, Ben Kilo. <laughs> you happened. You go to jail. Don't abuse your babies, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to our final segment. What are we doing wrong? What are we? What are we doing? What are we doing wrong? All right, so... <laughs> what are we doing wrong is where we take videos that have way more views than ours... And we try and divine what their strategy was or what's going on in there that what we can do to, to make our videos better. All right? So the first one up here. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Centipede live. It's like somebody's going to play Centipede? Now, this is somebody's ear. Dr. Oh. Raja Kapal. There's a live... Mama Kapal. Live centipede in that ear. What? Creepy crawlers. No. Look, look, look. Look at it trying to run in. Ah! It's going deeper in. It ran deeper in. And if it bites him, that's that's venomous, dude. He's, I think. It I crawled know. up him. Did he get no, it? No, they got it. Oh, shit. That was the picture in the front, what they pulled out. All right, all right, all right. Or in the start. That was it. Because when it, when it started to go back in... That's what they pulled out. That right there. I believe that is what they pulled out of his ear. That looks... It almost looks like two, but I think that's just where it got cut, you know? Like, pinched out. Because this has, like, a very dark, defined head. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. I think it's just one big-ass... Ah! Uh, dude! It's just... And it's just chilling in there. Uh, it's just in there and chilling. Uh, like... Uh, all right. All right. So which one of us is going to take a centipede in the air? No. No. 
Oh, Josiah watch it. will. Watch it, watch it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. There it goes. Ah, it's crawling in deeper. Oh, it tried to crawl out. Yeah. Oh, it tried to crawl out. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh my god, dude. Ah! 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 I just tortured myself with that fucking video, man. God damn. Ah, all right. So that's what we're doing wrong. What's next? Ooh. Oh. Now. All right, before this starts, is that a singing fish? Y yes. I don't, I don't see the button. <laughs> <laughs> Motion activated. Now, Hillary Clinton's had it rough, obviously. She's had to downgrade her office. She's no longer... Has you osteoporosis know, kicked in? I believe so. I believe this is <laughs> menopause and osteoporosis. Okay. This is uh, the effects of that, I believe. People in the United States. There was some people who were worried about her health during the election, so... It's the most pequeña Hillary Clinton. Very disappointed in the United States. Why would you do this today? Why? <laughs> Damn, Hillary! <laughs> Why? 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 Oh, man. Uh, now, this happened on, on, on the campaign trail. She was seen to Is this before or after she shat herself? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, I've heard tales. I've heard that saw that theme in the background before. Oh no! She's busting out of her shirt! No! La Pequena Hillary Clinton! Hillary Clinton! No, Hillary, no! Don't! Show some restraint! Show some restraint! I tell you one thing. Do you think Russia would have meddled in our election if they would have seen this? I don't think so. I don't think we'd have half the problems we have today. Al Qaeda, just show them this. La Pequena Hillary Clinton, motherfucker. You What? Dude, this just took a twist, man. Have we just like wandered into a love story? Keep playing. Is is that a keep, cop? Keep keep it playing. It is. I think that's an ice agent. That looks like a very unique patch. It looks like she's found true love. Yeah. What the f- Alright. That's obviously something we're doing wrong. So what do you think we're doing wrong? From, you know, what do we learn from La Pequena Hillary Clinton? Well, We need uh, to hulk out. I think we need to be shorter. Should I have done that for, uh, for 8th edition? Just green body paint? Just, why? Ah! Yeah, that, that might actually have gotten views. Which one of you guys is going to be the gap? That carries me off. Josiah also volunteers again. I can't pick you up, I don't think, physically, like that. We're gonna need both of you. So that means shirts off, you're gonna have to pop them off. No. Just pop that shirt off. No. Um. How do we lose subscribers? <laughs> <laughs> have a bunch of neck beards carrying another neck beard down the. No. As he yeah, screams. We also need one of those uh, fish on the wall. We do need a fish. And a picture of. Ourselves and Bill Clinton. Okay. Whoa! Already. Already I'm I can see. Yeah, I'm down for this. Whatever it is, I want three. What? 
Grady's killing it right now. I what is understand. that ammo? I don't understand. This is all stuff we do. Yeah, that's true. 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 Yeah, that's did she just kill that cat? No, she shot the noodles. Oh, okay. She's shooting noodles. She shoots the noodles. Cat sneezes. Yep. Cat farts. Oh. For flavor. Yes. Magic. Pussy noodle. It steams itself. Oh. The man's dick. Pussy noodle. Lady and... The penis are dancing because of pussy noodle. All yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. They sure are. Why did he? Do I that? love that. I love that. <laughs> pussy noodle. Did he have to kill himself that way? Yes. yes. One more time. Let's see it. One more time. <laughs> Go back in your pussy noodle. Ah. <laughs> I think we've learned a lot today. Yeah. I think we've grown as a channel. Um, Somebody's we need... getting their dick ripped off. Hmm? No, we need noodle rounds. And an assault rifle. I've got lots of cats. Uh, I don't know about them sneezing, but can... I, I could definitely feed them something to make them fart. Okay. Yeah. Right. We, can, we can vouch for their farting. Yeah, we can self-steam some stuff. Self-esteem. Oh, self-steam. That yes. is such a good feature. Yes. <laughs> Self-steaming noodles. All right, here we go. It's the end of the show. No. We've come to the end. All the wounds have been mortal. All the planes have been walked. All the heroes have been clicked. All the orders given. All the focus allocated and all the foes smited. Josiah, what's best in life? Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentations of their women. You're goddamn right. Hmm.